Welcome back, sports fans. The Warner Robins Demons are fresh off a GHSA football championship last fall. And more recently, they brought home more hardware from UGA at the Bulldog 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament last week in Athens. But this midweek, the Demons were back on familiar territory at McConnell Talbert Stadium, a.k.a. the MAC, spending time and running plays, executing reps all in effort to improve their passing game alongside fellow region mate Veterans High School and visiting Turner County from South Georgia. The three teams competed with one another, rotating throughout the morning on the turf. Both area schools rely on a balanced offensive attack, and they say seven-on-seven -seven passing camps like this help younger, inexperienced players simulate game-time action. Got a chance to talk to Demons head coach Marquise Westbrook and top Warhawk and Milan Turner about the opportunity for their teams to take a step at getting better reading past defenses when at this time last year, COVID-19 protocols had them out of the huddle and on the sidelines. You know, last year we, we didn't have these opportunities um, and I think everybody across the state would say it, it definitely had an impact on the development of their programs and their kids. And So this is just a great opportunity for kids to get reps, get coached up, compete. Those are, things you, those are the situations you want to put them in early in the summer. It's easy to get lackadaisical and, and just rest on your laurels, but we can't do that. We got to make sure that we coaching them up every day, that we don't just ride the coattails of last year. And we try to implement that every day in their minds and uh, that we just got to keep going and keep pushing. This is a new team and uh, they got to write their own path right now. Well, we can't forget about the big uglies. The offense and defensive linemen also got in on the action with board drills and pass pro reps on a separate field while the other skill guys, that's right, the other skill guys, linemen are skill guys too. The three teams wrapped up the one-day session with a group lunch and motivational speech from Second Baptist Pastor Jim Perdue. 